in front of me I have the JC400 A-Vision dashcam. So what makes this dashcam uh, stick out or unique? is that it's uh, 4G enabled, meaning that uh, you can plug in a SIM card and uh, you'll be able to remotely monitor the car uh, and access the recordings from the cloud. It also has some additional features. Uh, you have GPS tracking, mentioned live feed from the web or the application. And also you have something uh, called engine cutoff. Uh, what this is, uh, is basically you connect a cable to the, I believe it is to the motor oil engine uh, to cut the flow uh, so you can remotely shut off the car. Uh, I will not be using this feature because I don't need it. Uh, so let's open up and see what's inside the box. So we have here our IKEA knife and uh, let's go. Okay, here is the camera itself. So if we focus on the camera first, so it records both indoor uh, in the dash and also outside. Uh, so that's quite neat and here you see the GPS LED, the power LED and the 4G uh, LED I guess. And on this side uh, you have the memory card, uh, I believe it's a mini SD card, there we have it. I ordered it with a 32 gig but I believe it can support up to 128 gigabyte. On the next, we have the SIM placement. So let's go ahead and plug in the SIM card. So obviously you will need a SIM card with a data plan. Uh, but I believe it is, you don't have to use it uh, if you don't want to have the 4G features. What's really cool about this, it also works as a Wi-Fi hotspot, meaning you can share the internet. So it's it's perfect if you have kids in the car uh, with the iPads and so on. Plug it in this way, I guess. Yeah. So it is lighter than I expected, but still feels, doesn't feel cheap. Uh, let's see what's more in the box. So, the thing is, this is, it's not your typical plug and play dash cam since you need to connect it to the fuse box of the car. Uh, and we will cover that part later. Uh, we'll measure with a multimeter and so on. And uh, what's convenient is that it, it also has a mini battery you could say and the way the i uh, understand it is that this uh, battery uh, is powering the camera in standby mode when the when the car if is off so it doesn't drain your main battery but at the same time you still need to connect the fuse uh, to the constant power to have this one charged and I believe if it detects that your main battery source drops uh, below a certain voltage the camera stops uh, receiving power so it shouldn't drain your battery uh, so that's that's quite neat and then we have the yeah this is this stick it on the windshield and then you connect the camera. Uh, let's see, yep, like this. Okay, what's else in the box? Okay. 
but I'm guessing that this is for the feature of um, the SOS feature, I'm not sure what that is, and also the engine cutoff feature, which I will not be using. There you go. You can adjust the tilt and the inside camera is fixed. And I believe this one of these is an IR blaster, so it also can uh, record during night time. As I mentioned before, to install the JC400 dash cam, you need to hardwire it uh, via the fuse box. Now I'm gonna install it in my Volkswagen Passat 2016 B8 model. Uh, so this guide is specifically for this car, uh, but it is possible to install this in other cars, but uh, you need to check your uh, owner's manual and fuses location. So you're gonna need a multimeter. Uh, you need to measure uh, uh, the, the, the DC currency in the fuse box uh, to find out which is the ground, uh, which is the... 12 volt ACC and the 12 volt B plus. The B plus is the constant power even when the car is off. So if you have a multimeter like this, so you need to set it at uh, uh, DC voltage and you need the ground, uh, the black ground cable in the COM port and the hot cable in the voltage uh, port. So in the Volkswagen Passat, 2016 B8 model, uh, European model, not sure if it differs from the American version. Uh, you find the fuse box in the driver's side location. So if you pop this cabinet here, uh, you can play stuff, but it is a bit hidden. Let me see if I can show you. So what you need to do is to disconnect it from the bottom like this. And then it pops up. So here you have the fuse box. So in this fuse box, in this car, you have the ground connection in this place. So if you place the, the black cable, the grounding, and then you measure the, the fuses, uh, uh, we're going to use the 10, 10 amp fuses. So if we measure the currency in this one, as you can see, since the car is off, it doesn't show any voltage. But if we measure the fuse on this side, uh, then you see that there is currents, even when the car is off. So this fuse will be used for the always on power for standby mode. And this fuse, I will turn on the car now and measure again. This is the ACC fuse. You see there is current as well. These are the cables uh, that are used to uh, uh, connect to the fuse box. Uh, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, you have uh, the option. This is the needed option for the power. And this is an optional feature for uh, remote cut off the engine oil to be able to shut off the, the car uh, remotely, for example, if it's stolen or, or you, yeah, whatever reason. I will not be using this feature. So I'm gonna cover it up with uh, some electric tape. Uh, and here are the fuses that I mentioned. So the black cable is the grounding uh, that we're gonna install. And then uh, you have, let's see here. This is uh, the 10 amp fuse. Uh, it's labeled ACC, meaning that it is for uh, accessories, I believe it stands for, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, this fuse is uh, connected where 
the there is power when the car is on and this fuse the b plus fuse uh, we will connect when there is always power even when the car is off The wiring is connected, uh, so let's turn on the ignition and we should see the LEDs turning on here. Oh, we get power here. Uh, I guess it takes some time to boot up for the first time, so let's give it a moment. Here we have uh, the data, it's blue, so that is great and the gps signal is uh, searching and now we have the gps signal as well so now we know that it works uh, obviously we will rewire the cable so it looks neat
So the application you use for the camera is called Track Solid. Uh, you can find it on the uh, Apple App Store or uh, Android Marketplace, and it's free of cost. So if we open it up, you will be um, prompted with this page uh, where it shows a map and the location. Uh, and now it has detected my car. I have already added the camera to the application and created an account. But to add an account uh, and uh, connect the camera, you simply pre press on the plus sign. And then you can uh, enter or scan the serial number of your camera. If we go back uh, and press on the car itself and we expand it, we have a lot of options. Uh, we can, if you start with the camera, uh, we can uh, remotely view the cloud recordings uh, that it has saved. Uh, so it can take both pictures and video. Let me refresh that. There we go. So the cloud recording works works as such that it uh, records and uploads video to the cloud uh, only based on events, meaning that, for example, if de it detects a car crash, it will save the file locally on the memory card, but also upload it to the cloud uh, for safety measurement. But all the all the other recordings are stored on the SD card. Uh, so it doesn't drain your data plan or the battery. So if you want to access the videos on the SD card, uh, all you do is you press on the SD icon on the top right corner. And uh, it will say that it's opening the Wi-Fi device. Uh, so that it basically sends a signal to the camera to enable the, uh, the Wi-Fi in it. And uh, what you need to do is you need to connect to the camera's Wi-Fi from your phone settings, uh, which I've already done. Uh, then after a few seconds, uh, the Wi-Fi should connect. Just like that. Um, and then if you press on go to SD card, uh, you will be prompted with the similar view, photos or videos. If you click on the video, uh, you have different uh, recordings, the front cam, the inward the event, and something called other. So if we go into the front cam, uh, it will list the, the folders based on date recordings. So if we take the today's date, and I have four video files recorded. So to download them, all you have to do is to expand the uh, the, the arrow and press download and it will add it to the task list. Um, if we press on the icon arrow on the right top right side uh, we will see that it's started to download the file locally to your phone over Wi-Fi. Uh, and the files uh, recording are split up uh, I believe it saves up to 178 megabyte per each recording. And if the memory card gets full, uh, I believe it will uh, delete the oldest ones and just rewrite. So you don't have to manually enter and delete anything. It's just that if you want to download video files, you can do it easily. If we go back in the menu, and one thing to be aware of is that when you exit the SD card setting, the Wi-Fi of the camera will uh, disconnect. I believe it is, uh, again, battery saving feature and uh, a security feature uh, so that no one should be able to connect to the Wi-Fi on the camera even when the ca car is off. There might be a setting that you can uh, play around with. Uh, I haven't had time to do it yet, to have the Wi-Fi always enabled, for example, when the car is on. Uh, if we go back uh, uh, in the main menu again, uh, you can switch to, uh, on the two squares, if you press it, you will have uh, satellite view instead. 
Um, if you want to live preview the camera over 4G, you click on the camera and you basically click on live. Um, so that is neat that you can live monitor uh, the video both inside and outside um, whenever you want. So you have a couple of features. You have uh, the camera, as I mentioned, you have tracking where you can track your car. You have a playback. Basically, it will draw a list uh, on the map where you have uh, driven. You have something called geofence, and that is you can highlight a section on the map uh, to trigger an event. For example, if the car enters a zone or exits a zone. Um, if you go to the settings, uh, you have tons of options to, uh, to uh, adjust. One thing that I really like is the vibration alert. And basically what this is, uh, that when the car is off for five minutes, if it detects that uh, there is a vibration on the car because there is a G sensor in the camera, it will trigger a notification to your mobile phone and also uh, record a 10 second video clip both inside and outside and upload it to the cloud. For example, basically what it acts as is a remote car alarm system. So that is really neat. If you go back, uh, we have something, D the DMS I believe is stand for driver monitor system, uh, where basically you can enable um, the AI features uh, that, that scans the face uh, if it detects that someone is closing their eyes while driving, smoking, talking on the phone, and it will trigger a notification to you. I will not be using those features anyway, but and I will not cover all the features and settings that you can do. Uh, one thing I want to mention is that there's a tons of options but uh, the user interface in the application is uh, is really not the best in my opinion. Uh, however, if you log into the browser from a computer, it is a little bit better. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, it's not perfect uh, and I'm sure there are tons of things that have been missed. But uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And uh, I would really appreciate if you could like, share and uh, subscribe. Thank you for watching.